Half of Americans view China as the biggest threat. TikTok promotes Chinese propaganda to millions across Europe. Party school's integrity meal was criticized. The vice principal was suspended. According to a recent Pew Research Center survey, half of Americans view China as the biggest threat to the U.S. In response to an open-ended question, 50% of Americans named China as the greatest threat, while only three times lower, about 17%, mentioned Russia. In a similar survey conducted in 2019, equal proportions of Americans, 24%, pointed to China and Russia as the greatest threat. The new survey reflects a significant shift in perceptions, highlighting the growing concerns about China's global negative impact. The Pew report also examined how China is perceived in 24 countries, revealing negative views of the superpower at historic highs, particularly in Western countries. Furthermore, some developing nations that typically had positive sentiments towards China now show increasing such views. The strained relations between the U.S. and China have reached their lowest point in years, marked by escalating tensions over various issues, including the Chinese spy balloon incident and chip export restrictions from Washington. Other key factors contributing to the global dimming of China's reputation include Beijing's initial handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. And its aggressive actions toward Hong Kong and Taiwan. The survey also revealed notable variations in perceptions based on political affiliation and age groups. Republicans and Republican-leaning independents are more likely to see China as the greatest threat, 63 percent, compared to 40 percent among Democrats and Democratic-leaning independents. Similarly, there is a significant perception gap between older Americans, ages 65 and above, and younger Americans, ages 18 to 29, 61% compared to 36%. The Pew report also examined global views of China in several major economies, including Canada, Japan, and France. It also included eight key middle-income countries, such as India, Brazil, and Mexico. Among those surveyed in the U.S., 83% expressed unfavorable views of China, slightly up from 82% the previous year. Many other nations also reported record or near record levels of negative views towards China: 79% in Canada, 72% in France, and 76% in Germany hold unfavorable opinions. Australia and Japan had the highest percentage of respondents. 87% in both countries expressing negative views of China. TikTok has been targeting millions of European users with ads from Chinese state propaganda outlets. The ads cover many topics, from defending China's COVID-19 lockdowns to promoting Xinjiang as a tourist attraction, despite its history of persecuting Uyghurs. According to Forbes, over 1,000 ads from Chinese state media outlets, like the mouthpiece of the CCP, People's Daily. Or Beijing-based television network CGTN have been shown on TikTok since October 2022, reaching users in countries such as Austria, Belgium, Germany, Greece, and the UK. Many ads highlight China's economy, technology, and cultural heritage. A specific advertisement accuses Western media of lying about human rights abuses in China. Some ads also took on a more overtly political tone. Criticizing Western governments' responses to China's Belt and Road Initiative and defending China's COVID-19 policies, TikTok's ad policies prohibit political or election-related ads. But the company has not clarified whether these ads were permitted under its guidelines. The platform labels accounts run by state media, but labeling ads is still a work in progress. TikTok has faced scrutiny and inquiries from several governments over its ties to the Chinese state. Concerns have been raised that the app could be used to influence civic discourse in democratic nations and exfiltrate sensitive government information to China. A former executive filed a lawsuit against TikTok in May, saying TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance had a committee of Communist Party members installed to advance core communist values. He also accused the company of being a useful propaganda tool for the Chinese Communist Party that bred a. Culture of lawlessness. The U.S., U.K., and Europe have banned TikTok on government devices over security concerns.
In December, TikTok faced further scrutiny when it admitted to using the app for surveilling U.S. and U.K. reporters to identify their sources. Despite the acknowledgement, ByteDance staff in China continue to have access to European TikTok users' data. From July 10th to 14th, the party school of Wubao County in Yulin City, Shanxi Province, conducted a training class for the secretariat of a residential cell. As part of the anti-corruption training course, they organized a theme lunch centered around integrity and honesty. Various dishes were given creative names with symbolic meanings, such as fried yam being called black and white split, to distinguish right from wrong clearly. Salted egg mixed with tofu being called ku tofu, symbolizing the fight against corruption and prevention of change, and more. Surprisingly, after the school published an article to promote this event, some Chinese netizens raised doubts, claiming that the party school's actions were merely a display without any natural substance. They accused officials of promoting integrity during the day while indulging in luxurious food at night. Under public pressure, the CCP's official media outlet CNR published an article criticizing the so-called integrity meal, stating that proper efforts to strengthen the political apparatus and uphold rights should begin with concrete measures rather than merely engaging in superficial activities aimed at impressing superiors. Regarding the integrity meal incident, some netizens mocked, vegetarian food was associated with integrity, so meat dishes were linked to corruption. Others countered this view. This integrity meal is much better than the meals served in most schools. In response to the public outcry over the incident, the Wubao district issued a notice on July 21st, announcing that the district party committee had ordered a temporary and comprehensive reorganization of the party school. The vice principal in charge of the party school was suspended from their duties, and the district discipline inspection committee would conduct an investigation and take appropriate actions against those responsible. In light of this development, netizens once again engaged in heated discussions. A netizen said, Integrity meal is at best a superficial gesture, but the decision to suspend work was bureaucratic. Most of them believed that the creative and educational aspects of the event did not warrant such severe measures, and wondered why it was blown out of proportion. Another said, The wrong posture of submission just wanting to think of a little bit of prominence, unexpectedly dug his own grave.